Hello, folks, and welcome to the show where every table tops a stage, and we are merely players. players. That was only funny yeah. once when yeah. I did it. I didn't get to do it. <laughs> well. Because you were that side of the desk, Austin, and now I'm here. It's me. It's Max. Hi, Max. Just Hi, GM Max. in this hey. one. Hey, guys. How's it going? Sorry, it's been a while since we've recorded Soretta, and also f- you listening to it, because um, we had that little cheeky video in between, which is very exciting, showing all the stuff that we've got coming up in the new year. But we are back in Soretta, and that means I'm surrounded by a lovely bunch of folk. We've got the usual suspects the here. <laughs> Jacob's eating coconuts. He's got pieces of coconut. I, I mean, eat coconuts, but they're very good for me. To my left, we have... Ollie Towers. I will be, for this evening, playing Alwyn Oakfoot. Ellen Constable. Uh, and for this evening, <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully other evenings, I will be playing Sarig Ross. Oh, he didn't tell her, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Ollie Ixnay on the recasting A. <laughs> I am Emily Sortel, and I will be playing Ethelief Rose and Shade. Jacob M. Doyt. <laughs> what are they playing? Re- Revriel. No! <laughs> I'm Austin Hayes playing Revriel. Amazing. That is everybody. Um, so what we'll do is we'll give a quick recap, not just for yourselves, but for the players around the table, of what happened last session. And we'll jump straight into what I think is the penultimate Soretta episode of 2023. <gasps> oh That's terrifying. So, last session, our lovely band of folk moved back into the Thieves' Guild to try and talk to Took after parlaying with Stilgar Shouts. On arriving to the Thieves' Guild, they found that Shouts had beat them to it, and Alwyn, heroically diving in front of a knife, didn't quite take it. It hit her, and uh, she feigned, or you found out, she feigned an injury. Win some, you lose some. Then... What kind of progressed was a little bit of a catch-up between three long, disconnected friends. And in the meantime, you found out more information about the Pointers Breeze family and the um, elusive Madame P, or just the matriarch of the Pointers Breeze family, finding out that she has three generals. There's Shouts, who you have met. There is Velsenar Forbes, who you found out was the head of the Shonkor, and of course, our lovely friend, who you know (sighs) as Carrick Shah. Can't. Or not Carrick Shah, the name seems to change along with their entire being, as you found out they are also a changeling. In the meantime, you gave away that Gerard and Petunia, your two interns, worked for the Shonkor and almost caused Shouts to go and kill them both. Uh, you also found out that Shouts was under the magical direction of the head of the Pointed Breeze family through those two clasps which Lizard Doit found on his adventures. Sarig being thrown into what is the dragon's den or the lion's den of this entire thing. <laughs> I have a business pitch. <laughs> Be a dragon. Duncan Ballantyne in the corner. <laughs> shark Tank. Guys, Shark Tank. That's the show. Oh, okay. okay. I, thought that, I thought this was me, the players. Sarig, hiding in the background of the discussions, kind of overwhelmed by who they've just been thrown into a room with, took noticed a sigil on the back of her book, took it over to his father, revealing that these sigils were found as almost runes around his dad when he uh, found him in Boronor all those years ago. His father holding the book... Nothing really happened, but there was some sort of power that possessed him and some strength which came into this withered dragonborn's body uh, that you hadn't seen before. You then decided to go and visit the obelisk, thinking that you could get some answers from the exposition obelisk that I've thrown into the middle of this city, and nothing really came. Nine. Apart from Sarig recognising the mineral as what you came to know as Salium, or to Sarig, the catalyst, something given to people in the order before a reading happens. And uh, this was shared, and Sarig wasn't trusted. Yay. You also found out that Ethelie's kids are being held in a place called Craven. Being told that each general of Madame P operates for a specific purpose, and that Shaw stayed in the town of Pantora, where you were all brought together by one Mr. Grunyuk Pointersbury all those days ago, you decided to head south again, but not before wanting to take a little detour through Knotwood to settle some of Alwyn's unfinished business. So that's where we pick up. We are still in the Thieves' Guild getting ready to go on our travels. Is there anything you would like to do before heading out? <clears throat> Just on a, on, a, on, a, on a purely functional level, we've all had rests and long rests and all bits and bob. You have not. You can. You can rest before you go. There seems to be no pressing issue. I mean, I'm, 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 I'd say that, but I'm actually okay. I'm fine. I wouldn't hate it. You've got okay. loads of stuff going on, haven't you? I, well, no, I just... I would. 
like my spells back. I wouldn't hate either. Um, I mean, if you want the Keeper kind of by yourself, we've, we have rooms. I think Shouts was the biggest threat to us. And Well, yes, I'm uh, here, so I'm not going to be killing you in your sleep. I promise that. Uh, Lock him up. <laughs> Sorry? I- <laughs> you heard Punch what him I in said. the face. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think she she needs she needs locking up. I mean, we can maybe if you head off tomorrow. I mean, shouts as as we've discussed, she'll continue to send stuff to Madame P. But what time is it? It's like morningish. Oh, because I think you oh. left. I think you left the Smugglers Guild early morning, right? Because so all this morning nap, shall oh, we? Oh, we have a little nap. I mean, if you now. sleep now, you'll go in the afternoon. What eight hours? It's fine. Say it's like three a.m. Let's leave in the afternoon. Oh, it's like 3 a.m. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's bedtime. Oh, it's like morning. Yeah, that's bedtime. That, that yeah. feels like bedtime to me. A full, I think, a full I, I think yeah. Rev, if you, if you need to sleep. I would love to sleep. Rev needs to sleep a lot. Um, so right. You'll, you'll so, notice this, Sarek, about, about Rev, is that we, we all um, actually don't need much sleep, but Rev needs, like... How much sleep do yeah, you need tonight? Need to um, like four hours or like eight hours? Well, I'm I'm quite accustomed to to an eight. Yes. Uh, ah. Yeah. Yes. So I could I could use some rest. That would be really good. No, really? it's two of them. Mm-hmm. Sorry, make me a uh, history check. <laughs> you actually only need four hours. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't. Seen oh it. dear, that's a four. Something something in the back of your head reminds you there's something in your backpack. Check your list. Are you <laughs> making <laughs> paperwork? Um. Right, sorry, yeah, no, uh, yeah, so I, I as, as a half elf, uh, I, I do actually need eight, eight hours of sleep, but, um, the, the order they provide this, uh, this item that, that means I don't have to sleep that much, so, um, if you need to go to bed, then go to bed, that's fine. Yeah, Rev, if you need to sleep, Rev, you What? <laughs> She's got a little sleepy hat. You have a... Hmm? The DM gave you Adderall? <laughs> <laughs> I'm off my nut. Um... Which no, app so you would just self? actually just I don't know. You've not really been very nice to me. I don't know if I should. Me? Be nice to what you. am I doing? <laughs> you've been very rude. Yeah. You've been what? incredibly rude. It's been quite confusing. Um, Have I? <sighs> so, if um, if you think maybe you can be a bit nice to me, is it a problem that he has to sleep for? Well, no. It's eight. just that none of us have to. Yeah, we can so go to do fun stuff. To he around. goes to sleep. We can go chill. We go to casino. Yeah. We go to the bar. We can make some more friends. We could go to. We could go to the south. He'll catch us up. We, we like to have a pint, don't we? Really? Yeah, we go when, for a pint. Yeah. Yeah. You'll catch us up, won't you, Rev? Yeah. 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 Go on. I'll, you get, get, get going. It's important, I think, that we all sleep tonight and leave at the same time tomorrow. Why? What are you thinking? Oh, well, uh, you know, I realise um, we, we went to a pub earlier and, uh, and, and I don't drink. But maybe you could introduce me to some beer. That would be fun. I Let's so. <sighs> Why? What did I? What did I do to you? Well, you were just, you were just quite rude. Was I? I don't remember this I, at I, all. I, you, it was referred to as your, your, your teenage stage, your, your puberty. So and we're going through an angsty phase. <laughs> it happens. You're literally wearing a vampire for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Flips hair, whoop. I'll grow out of it. <laughs> so I have a spare. Have you ever heard of Hawthorne Heights? You have a spare? <laughs> <laughs> So the order they provide this this nightcap that uh, if I wear it, then it means that I actually only have to sleep for four hours, um, and I do have a spare for my companion. And normally, don't let him use it. <laughs> well, this you can see the conflict that I have, right? Currently, yeah, currently, I'm looking at taking new applications for best friend because I'm getting no backup for mine here. We can put it up to a vote. I would love to only have to sleep for four hours. I'd like to sleep for just two, though. <laughs> <laughs> then you can have a whole adventuring day in six hours that it takes me to continue <laughs> sleeping. That's a full shift at a job. That's not what I'm back. <laughs> Mate, we'll get it done. Just rest up. <laughs> okay, I'll just sit. I'll wake up in eight hours and I'll have my two third level spells back. You should make him earn it. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh, um, montage. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I think as long as I think my concern is that that there seems to be some distrust, and and and, and we've perhaps maybe we've gotten off on the wrong foot, and by we I mean you. But if you 
if you think this is a me, you, is this a me specifically thing? Well, it's just, just generally. Why am the group. I getting all of the distrust? Everybody else has been mean to you too. If That's you what I'm saying. Say, I think then... if it's beneficial to the. <laughs> all right, Grandpapa. <laughs> Do you not want to get to your backstory faster? Oh, I do without time. him. <laughs> what? 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 Why did we? Why are we all suddenly playing Dungeons and Dragons and kicking the shit out of me? Is this fucking payback for doing so much United City? What the fuck is this? I sit down as a player. Sick of boys. This entire table. This is hostile. This is a fucking hostile work environment. I've got a hat. We have to sleep at 16 now. <laughs> What's going on? I, I sit there. I sit there for like six weeks, and then all of a sudden I get back to this table, this side of the table, and I get fucking rinsed. <laughs> Is this supposed to make it easier to end season one of United City? It's, it's going to make it worse, gang. It's going to make it worse. <laughs> That CR8 just went up to a CR12. Oh, Rev stops speaking in tongues and returns to this plane. <laughs> Austin just fucking walked into a roast. Oh my god. <laughs> we started recording and I just got fucking hog roasted. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Christ. Uh, so you're handing over that uh, nightcap? I think, Sorry. I think actually, um, yeah, Rev really seems to need some sleep. So, um, what? <laughs> So, uh, I will give you my nightcap, but I, I really need you to... You need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> yes, I, re I really think you need to... <laughs> you didn't bring this energy in when we were fighting at the start, because that could have got very bad. I just, I, I just need... I'm really sorry that I offended you. No, no, no. no, no. I just, it's... It, it was reserved for a person, and so I would really just appreciate it if, actually, in my giving it to you, you you look after it. I absolutely will look after it. Okay. And it can still be reserved for that person. I, I'm not really sure it works that way, but that's... Oh. It's my gift to you. Oh. Just please... That's really nice, be, Harry. Be, be really nice, nice to me. Yeah. Please. Just of be course. nice to her. You're in, the, you're in the gang. You're in the group. Okay. Good. There was some, some we're all nice here before. And we're good friends and we don't pick on each other and this is a good and safe environment in which to make friends you say in the center of the thieves guild <laughs> 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 um, so Saroka gives Rev their spare nightcap of snoozing you get a nightcap of snoozing <gasps> which allows without attunement the wearer to take if they need 8 hours of sleep 4 unfortunately it doesn't just halve the sleep you need Alloin <laughs> But I yeah. would have rolled Look, consistently. I'm getting anyway. across the table <laughs> right now. <laughs> Amazing. So heading to bed? Yeah. yeah thank you. That's that's okay. This is incredible. I guess Sarah just puts on their own nightcap of sneezing and Same. it's one of the long, like old fashioned I was really hoping you would say that. Huge <laughs> like long with a little bauble on the end made oh. out of like Wool. Is mine the same? No, yours is a piece of shit. <laughs> yours is just a piece of paper that says hat. <laughs> it's just a dunce cap. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it's just, it's um, a little bit uh, raggedy, I suppose. Thanks. This is gorgeous. Sleep well. <laughs> yeah, you too. Where are we going to sleep? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're we're <laughs> Drop um, onto the floor. Yes, I mean, there were the Andy's barracks coming. that you slept in. <laughs> Wait, the, the barracks that you slept in when you arrived the first time? I think, I know, uh, Doy, I think you slept on the floor. Um, <clears> oh, yeah. Yeah. Time. We've still got the, the beds again. over there, bunk beds and yeah, stuff. Yeah, let's go Perfect. sleep there. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, Keeper. Awesome. You guys just want to go take a long rest? Yeah. yeah. Of your newfound four hours? Oh, this is so exciting. I'm going to wrap it around my neck like a scarf and still do the vampire, like, laying on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, the night goes without, well, not even the night. You see, like, you feel the morning just just arriving at 7 a.m. rather than the 11 that you're expecting. Um, you're expecting so to feel exciting. groggy, Rev, but you feel fully refreshed as the nightcap just starts to, in its own way, kind of almost bring with it this, this heavier sleep than you've ever felt before. And uh, you wake up. <laughs> All together at once. <laughs> good lads, good lads. God damn these underwater beds. <laughs> and um, are you making your way to leave? Yeah. Heading towards Knotwood and then to Soretta? I have a little coffee. Not Soretta. And on to Pandora. Soretta. And on to Pandora? Yeah, I have a little 
Make a little coffee in the morning. Cool. You head and, uh, over to the little coffee station, yeah, which is again in, in the keeper's chambers. And like, yeah, keeper's I up she's and got some good coffee stuff. She's ready to go. Yeah, she's making beans. Mm. Exactly. Fresh. And um, Shouts is still there, still alive, didn't kill anyone. And um, I imagine they're just all like, hello, yeah, morning. Hello, yeah, morning. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> just really normal. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's like, everyone in a stag do coming yeah. together in the Airbnb <laughs> for the first time. You're just talking to the dad you've never met before. <laughs> um, never met your dad before, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I hope he's listening to this. Oh, hi Max. Hi Max's dad. Somewhere, um, Belgium. <laughs> Check the map. He's in Belgium. And shouts is just kind of getting ready, and she's got this cloak, and she sees you guys come in. She's like, "Ah, are you uh, getting ready to leave?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think. Um, okay. If you're going up against where we think Shaw may be, uh, or eventually you might. Yes. Okay. You've got the clasps, and I think I could. Yes, and she looks quite resigned. She's like, fine, I'll, um... Yes, you might actually need this as well. And she kind of holds out her cloak. Um, Ethelief, this is probably best for you to take. Great. Potentially. And she okay. just hands yeah. over her cloak. The thing, Rev, that you've seen potentially shimmering and that yeah. whole... Yeah. The altercation with what happened earlier. So what do, what do I do with it? Alan's, like, looking as it gets passed over. It's sort of like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just wear it. And I think it needs to be attuned to. I should have probably given it to you before you went to sleep, but, um... If you're travelling on the road, you could probably do it on the uh, way. Uh, yeah, I've got a while, I think. Cool. So awesome. I'll just clip it on and... Cool. Looks cool. Um, See you I, will, nice. I will send you what this item does once it's been attuned to. Awesome. So, on your way? Yeah, so, okay, so we're going to the forest to go kill some giants? <clears throat> yeah. Is that the case? I, I think... I think I, I think opt optimally the, the idea is to go and find out what Carrick Shaw is doing, right? But yeah, you said the giants yeah, yeah, no, were no, we're going to go. We're it's, oh, doing a little it's on here. route. Otherwise, I'm just technically still working for this person who's been in my mind no, for quite no, a while. No, 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 no. We've got you. We've You're got on the list. It's a side quest. Yeah, I'm on the list. Okay, We've got right, a little cool. side mission. Got a big old list. Alwyn had a little, like, uh, exclamation point next to his speech bubbles every time he was talking. So ah, we're right. doing that one. Yeah, I meant it was a mission. So what, I, what we can do here, uh, me and Took can maybe, I don't know, kind of... Build up the strength of Boron, or now that we can bring the fight, to, like the forces together, we kind of have more of a, a stronghold here, I guess. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah that's great. great. Bring everyone. Cool. Make an army. <laughs> Just make one. And when we come back, we'll join you on the hill. <laughs> I don't know. No, some, uh, yeah, uh, this cloak cool. is doing warriors. something to me. I don't. Yes, it's fine. Powerful. It gives you like a little. Yeah, yeah it gives you a bit a of pep in the step. Oof. Yeah, you feel like a plus one to your armor class or something. Uh, something. <laughs> actually, yeah. As well as other things. <laughs> yes, uh, it's great. Oh. So, oh. Okay. my to-do list today. Sorry, I'm I'm such a planner in the morning. I just, uh, come together, build back up the thieves' guild, take out those two people from Helicos, and uh, and then we get word to you wherever wherever you are and find out about Carrickshaw. Yeah. Careful, that guy's got chicken fingers. Huh? Which guy? But Carrickshaw. He could no, do. He can change. Uh, uh, Gerard. <laughs> oh, yes. Fine. I well, I'll, I mean, I'm going to kill him anyway. I don't. I don't think. Good. I'm just warning. Um, Are we gonna... What, Alwyn? What do you need to say? Are we gonna... They're gonna let him kill the fucking kid? He's not Sorry, a kid. What? Was he a kid? No, he's just an idiot. He's oh. a full-grown person. He was like 20. Yeah, uh, he's not a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it's... Um, I, I, I have no real context as to what this person might have done, but obviously... They've offended some members of this group, but I don't really think it's necessary to to hurt anybody. I agree. Is it? I don't think you I, should kill them. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I don't think death is necessary. Maybe but, uh, like, like a, a said, stern beating, but not death. Yeah, a stern talking to. A persuasion check from Sarig and from Alowin. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, while I was talking to you, I was also shoving in croissants and drinking coffee with a <laughs> three. <laughs> it's an eleven. An eleven. Ooh, I mean, Ethelief did bring the DC down. It's like, well, I'll think on it. Now off you go. And uh, yes, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> she says through a very determined smile. <laughs> Is that person going to die? I maybe. Can I roll inside um, to see? If you can roll inside check <laughs> if you want. <laughs> It's 11. Knowing how persuasive you were. No, actually, I think he's going to be fine. Oh, okay. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> you were very persuasive. 
On with our day. <laughs> Amazing. On with your day. You kind of gather your things, everything together. Your fancy new cloak, Ethelief, and your it's so fancy. nightcap that is now going into your bag, Rivriel. You kind of trundle off out of Boronor. You traipse away. The sand, as you're kind of moving, you see these... Um, now you know what they are, these sandstorms that are the posts of the guards of Boronor, still kind of doing their circuits and doing their rounds. Uh, letting you leave, you pass again the fruit seller's stall where you got your apple oh, yeah, initially. Yeah, Ooh, um, the tracking apple. <laughs> tracking apple, I remember that fucking thing. Continue following back past the river where you travelled through after meeting Alowin for the first time, and you head past Rapassian towards further south westy on an almost horseshoe towards Pantora as the grass gets greener and water starts spurting uh... <laughs> you walk into a theme park <laughs> as you start to see hills of grass and running water moving away from this arid desert landscape that you kind of got used to when you were in the area of Boronor you see trees start Green. To yeah. spurt up. It's First jam, bushes, baby, then jam. trees, and... <sighs> this is my jam. You hit... I'm not going to make you do any like survival checks or anything, because Alowin knows exactly where he's going. And for the first time in a long time, you've been travelling a while, Alowin, and this is the first time you've had this sense of going back home. However, it's kind of marred with the sense of when you left it. Mm. Something that sits heavy on your chest, not knowing what to expect, but knowing it will not be the place you expect it to be. Or the place you once loved and knew and created yourself within. As you are almost overtaken by the immensity of these trees that are sprouting up beside you, uh, this initial kind of dirt path is quite trodden. It's almost like a crossroads within the knotwood within which you find yourself. There are canopies and canopies of trees. The sunlight dappling through, almost blocked out by the lush green leaves that are above you. Beautiful, like, dark wooden oaks and different, like, trees. <laughs> trees. In a wood. In a, yeah. This wood is, like, knotted kind of trees. <laughs> a knotted it's wood, if you will. And is this will. where you grew up? Y yes. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. It's really pretty. Thank you. Okay. Guess I'm just gonna stand at the back now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Sorry for my. Um, sorry for my. Uh, what the fuck? Quick uh, response. It's just. Um, there's. I, I told you the story a long time ago about my family going missing and. Yeah. This yeah. is that place. Wow. I'm so sorry. Uh, so that's okay, but that's why we're here, right? How long has it been since you were back? About a year. Um, can I look at the... Can I look at the... How long have we been travelling for? Oh, a couple of days. Like, um, just for expediency, you've kind of... Can I look at the... All, but... Can I look around? I'm looking for any tracks of uh, giants. Yeah, okay. Uh, are they... Rangers get a favoured enemy? Are they your favoured enemy? They are. And that means advantage on tracking? So I get advantage on tracking. I also have favoured terrain, which is woodland, which means that if I've been travelling for over an hour... I get, uh, if I search for an enemy, mm -hmm. I know their exact number, where they went through, and where they were going. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, their exact number, their sizes, how long ago they passed through the area, not where they were going, sorry. Amazing, cool, so make me a, that be an investigation check? Yeah, I guess I'm Let's looking for... Let's say the tracking, yeah, investigation check for me. Yeah. Or, um, or survival, you can choose. 19. 19? Survival. 19 survival. Easy enough. You know these woods like the back of your hand. And your... <laughs> new freckle. Your eyes are looking around. It looks like the knotwood that you left and you remember. Um, however, as you're trekking on, as you get deeper towards where you know your initial camp and your home was, the trees start to become a little more sparse and you do notice that there are more and more... Not... There are, like, footprints, but there are also carts. And you, you get a strong feeling of trade and transport and stuff being moved in this area. Like, almost a, with that 19, almost a clearing. Like, there has been a mass operation to make space, let's say. 
going um, that way that we're going. Going the way you're going towards your home. And you don't get a sense of your favoured enemy, these giant kin, like full-blooded giant kin, having moved through here in months. Months and months and months. However, you do get little, little spurts of inspiration looking at these footprints. They're larger than normal kind of humanoids. And with that 19, I'll give you that you feel that giant kin of not full-blooded nature have traveled through this area. Okay. Um, In between 30 and 50. Wow. Quite regularly. Um, And this is, you're saying that I I know for sure that this, it's been months since, there's no like back and forth track. It's been about a month since this, these trails have been. With these trails, it's quite regular. Uh, it's almost like this is like a, as, as you kind of as you're moving through, any multiple paths become one, and you get a sense that this is the only way in to this. It's a franchise. Place. Yeah, it's a franchise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fancy seeing you lot here! <laughs> oh, crunch! No, that's trunch. <laughs> that's yeah, you see, this is a Goliath. <laughs> oh Massive. wow! Hands on a, full. A, on a, on a, on a fucking trunk. Everything's like. Oh god! Um, say else. <laughs> <laughs> cool. yes. You're here on the wind. Let's go with that instead. Yeah, I'm going to turn around and uh, I'm just going to say to these guys that we are we're on the right path. We're going the right way, like to salvation. Exactly. I've never seen you do that before, Alwyn. What track like that? Slouch and point. Are you a ranger? I'm actually a rogue. <laughs> 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 um, I am going to. Point out the the the, the trails and all the the, uh, the feet <laughs> yep. um, to these guys and make them very clear and explain that this is a well trodden path they've been coming to and from a location. Mm-hmm. That's I how see. traveling works. Doit, I'm going to grab him and throw him into the bush, <laughs> and then okay. I'm going to say, "I think we should all do the same while we're moving forward in this direction." I want everyone to kind of move off the, get off the road, <laughs> into the cool. uh, woodland to yeah. try and move forward in an attempt of being slightly more stealthy uh, need, on our approach right? to wherever we're going. Are we to be stealthy? Thoughts? Yeah, let's be sure. stealthy. Yeah. I'll need stealth checks from all of you, and I'm pretty sure that favoured terrain means your party don't get slowed by going stealth-like. It don't, doesn't slow, uh, difficult terrain doesn't slow group travel. And, this would be difficult. Uh, we can't be lost. And uh, we can also engage in other activities when we are doing bits and bobs tracking we foraging. All the cool. Way. Bring trunch. Get, what do we roll? I get advantage on stealth checks. What did you roll? Six. Good. Eleven. Good. Twenty-five. Good. Four. Nice. <laughs> Just clop it around. Max is oh, brewing God. something. Okay. Ten. Ten. Cool. Was that, how, how, is, how, is, how, am I, how am I reading this? Are, are they doing well? Uh, you know this place out of the back of your hand. You kind of see little tracks that you used to run as a child as you were trying to, like, escape from... After, like, maybe as a joke, stealing something from one of your friends and then come running into the hills to, like, play catch and kind of hide and seek. You know this place. You're in the trees, you're in the bushes, like a ghost. Ethelief. Ethelief, as she's running, her cloak gets... Her new cloak, not kind of knowing the space that she's occupying, gets caught on a branch, and you just hear... Stop. Oh, I knew I should have fucking done passive out trays. I see you four. Oh, hey there. How are you doing? We've just uh, come across this lovely little forest here. Um, Come out so we can see you. I'm sure you're so beautiful. Aren't you a cute little baby? Clock this and turned around and I'm, w- I'm watching it. Cool. As you clock first, because you're slightly ahead, you see this one of these trees almost moves as this... Mm. I don't know how he was hiding, but this big kind of... Goliath with almost like, you know, predator kind of the mud on his face yeah, to yeah. hide himself. Um, steps around and just like moves up to your four friends who are clearly to be seen. Oh, hey there. You are a big chap, aren't you? <laughs> I've just lost my dog. I've sent him out um, into the woods chasing. I don't know if you've seen a little kind of black spaniel. Deception <laughs> check. It's a fantasy spaniel. Twelve. <sighs> can, I, can I poke him in the belly with my staff and be like, are you not wood? Oh, God. Do this at the same time? Mm. Cool. So I'll roll with advantage then. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not seen her. He kind of grabs the staff, throws it to the side, just mm. almost not paying attention to you, Doit. Doit needed that. I'm not seen her. 
dog, but I've seen a fox. Oh yeah, a little fox. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's um he's often following my dog around. We just can't seem to shake him. Right. So if you find that fox, you're gonna head off, yeah? Yeah. 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 Have you? Do you know where he might be? I haven't seen him for a while, actually. Um, that might be why Routes uh, disappeared. Yeah, he's just over there, and kind of just points to, and trying to catch up to where you saw Alowin go before he disappeared from your view, is, is Algernon just like, <laughs> <laughs> right. in his eyes you can read, he'll leave me again, he'll leave me again. <laughs> oh, oh, Al- Algernon, oh, there he is, Al- Al- Algernon. Oh. Oh, it's called Rout. Yes. No, that's the dog. Yeah, the fox, we've, we've nicknamed this fox, right. you see, because it's always around with the dog, so we've decided, you know, to give him a little name, but it's not, it's not really very helpful, so but, uh, I'm going to, um, how close am I to him? Uh, you can be as close as you like with that roll. Um, I want to go up a tree. Okay. And jump on top of his head. Okay. But just I don't want to hurt him. Just, just to do a grapple. Grapple, round the neck. Uh, acrobatics check, and I'll do a little athletic I'm course. glad you're helping out here, because I am getting to the end of my character that she's randomly made. Oh, very good. <laughs> that is a 22. A 22. I rolled a 19. So as this Goliath is just like talking to you and sees the fox run up, um, kind of questioning in, he didn't fully buy it, but wasn't hostile any- immediately. Uh, you see your friend Alowin as he just like comes and onto his back, almost like koala holding from behind into a, like a hold, like a choke hold. Yeah, around his neck, incapacitating effectively. <laughs> what the? Great, do we, wa- do we want to talk to him? Hello, big boy. I can right, make him talk to us. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Great. And I'm going go, go. to run up and just tap, like, Hit him as high up on ow, himself ow, as I can ow. and cast Charm Person. Ow. Okay, what do I have to make? Uh, it's a wisdom saving throw. And he's hostile, so advantage? Mm, I don't think so. No, I just make it? Hold on. Also, we just uh, really sort of glanced over Hello Big Boy there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Big Boy. Hello Big Boy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yep. You, you, you get advantage, advantage if we are fighting it. Guy Ritchie film. <laughs> cool, I rolled a natural 19. Okay, well. I've got my card again. Uh, <laughs> Get off! And he kind of just like bats your hand away. I would say that you've got, let's say, 12 seconds before he tries to shake you off. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so I'm holding onto his neck. Yep. <clears throat> All right. We just want to talk. We just want to talk. We just want to talk. I've got a knife to his neck. I'm going to make an insight. Very good. <laughs> I'm not going to DM screen so all can see my rolls. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Fine. Put the knife. He kind of puts his hands up. All I was doing is seeing what you were doing in our home. I'm not going to hurt you unless you actively hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I release my hands and I just drop off the back of him. I walk around the front and I say, we're just travelling through. We're, we're just, we're just, we're just travelling through. We are uh, looking to get through this wood to um, Miram, if I remember. Right. Isn't that right? Yeah. 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 And we really, we really have lost our dog. And we've also lost the dog. The fox is mine. <laughs> which I always remember. Fine. <laughs> I mean, dogs usually run through into our little stronghold, so might be worth a look there, but if you're heading to Miram... I mean, we've been travelling for about three or four days. I mean, I don't, we don't want to impose here, but maybe we could come inside and just rest up for a couple of hours, grab some food and some water, and then we'll, we'll head on. Right. Just a heads up. Uh, you didn't really need to be sneaking about. You could have just walked up. Well, you know, you understand that big, giant's... Feet. Right. A lot of you. It's a, quite intimidating for small folk like us. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll get there. But no more sneaking, no more funny business here. Yeah? No, 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 funny. no more sneaking. So Nothing funny business. about it. I'll score you in. And he kind of turns to walk back towards the main path that you left. Do you follow? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I just turn around to these guys and go, just play it cool. Mm-hmm. I'll mm-hmm. be walking. As he oh, leads you further down the path, not too much further, probably about another half a kilometer, you see almost cabins in the tree. In the trees, kind of like uh, scouting posts with two more Goliaths positioned um, and two giant wooden gates where you shout, open up, we got some visitors! And they open. And for the first time, and you're surprised, but as Alwyn, you feel the sunlight on your face as you look up and the canopy is just broken what was once a dense kind of the knotwood canopy is what it's kind of famous for is it's a very beautifully contained piece of woodland every tree connects to another tree to create this beautifully like knotted together canopy and 
a bit of panic sets in. Because initially there's something you're looking for and you think if they have taken this down, you don't know what you'll do. But as you're kind of looking around, feeling the sun on your face, you look up and you all see this. Is this gorgeous, beautiful, bigger than anything you've ever seen. A very unnaturally large tree. Just in the center of this massive clearing. Little houses and kind of farmland that you look around and you see creatures that are actually make not you rev because you won't have seen them but like nature checks everyone apart from doit as well 13 13 16 Three. just 16. very quickly judging history of Halloween being in this place yep uh i need to cover my face do we think you see only giant kin so, we're fine. so you see Goliaths, and you see these almost bovine esque humanoid things. Oh. Um, you don't know the name of them, but you immediately recognise Ethelief, especially. You immediately recognise the giant blood that runs through their veins. Okay, Sarag, you've never come across a creature like this. Uh, Alowin, again, you recognise just the giant blood coming from your favourite enemy as well. As you're kind of led through, but this giant tree, complete. The sun is kind of just broaching above it as it kind of silhouettes down onto you. You are in the shadow of this thing. Uh, much like most of Knotwood is at all times. Oh, it's, it's a large tree, isn't it? Good tree. I mean, is, there, is there a reason why you've you've settled here? Is that because there's a big tree for the big giants? Oh, um... No, it's it's still a big tree to us. Uh, I'd say it was, we just followed... We followed the chief, really. He had the vision that brought us here, so... You had a vision? Oh, I didn't have a vision. Who had a vision? Uh, Big Chief. Big Chief. Oh, I'd love to... By the way, I'm just going to sort of say this because it's always weird. Um, when Ethelief was in the woods, she used... She's got the cloak on mm-hmm. um, to sort of disguise herself a little bit. Yep. She has used her disguise kit and she's put like a... Imagine the uh, witch in Snow White when she's old with the little cloak. Right, okay. That's what we're, that's what we're looking like Apple? currently. Mama knows yeah, best. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, well, oh, your big chief. Oh, well, I'd love to have a chat with him because this is really interesting to me. I've never... Oh, never... no one sees Grom. Oh, Grom. Grom. What a lovely name. Who's the hag? <laughs> That's our friend. Uh, think... Sorry, love, I didn't hear quite what you said. Mm. I don't think you should repeat it. <laughs> um, where, where, was it so Grom? Was it Grom? Yeah. Grom, uh, well, well, maybe you could tell him that you've got some visitors that don't usually pass through these ways, and maybe he might quite enjoy a little chat. Fine. I guess, maybe. It's worth a try. Well, I don't really speak to him either, to be honest. Oh, why not? Because he stays up in the up in the. And he oh, kind of you're not important to, enough. He <laughs> points up with a wavering <laughs> finger after hearing that insult, and hey. kind of there's an insight check, Ethelief. Do I see where he's pointing I'm, before I'm this goes south? <laughs> Twenty three. Twenty three. He's <laughs> you see he's pissed off, offended. Yeah. But there's no Ooh, anger yeah. behind it. It's yeah. almost like a person that knows their place in this hierarchy, almost as if he's not worthy to sit where he's pointing and as you follow his finger there's this almost around as you kind of move closer past these smaller houses with these kind of uh these creatures you noticed and other goliaths you see this amazing stone stronghold just circled around what this tree is in the center um with farmland surrounding it almost like there is a two-tier to this society hmm Right in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm not. No. Oh, can I'm we go sorry in there? Sorry about that. Not without express kind of asking. Well, I tell you what, might earn you some points, lovey. Maybe you could go and find somebody that maybe can get in there, and you can tell them that you found these wonderful guests, and maybe they'll be quite impressed with you, and maybe you'll be allowed in there in the big room. Persuasion check. Why do I feel like this person has lived inside of Emily <laughs> for ages? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Um, that's not for me to decide. Uh, the four, um, big ones probably wouldn't like it if I was there, but they do have a guest come in occasionally. Ooh. So maybe if what? you get to chat to them, or maybe if you talk to the different blood. And there's, like, venom when he mentions this different blood. Oh, well, well, where can we find them? Should we 
Who should we talk to? Who do you recommend? Well, uh, the traveller comes in almost every day now. Oh, um, right. And what, what do they look like, dearie? They're sort of, uh, <laughs> I don't know, they're small. Uh, <laughs> like us. <laughs> or pointy ears like yourselves. Oh, yeah, a little, little elf, yes. Um, kind of very pale skin, almost Ooh, like right. anemic. Oh, yeah, oh, got not too much uh, Like iron. me? No, um, no, not like you, kind of. Uh, what what uh, colour hair? Uh, fancy, fancy clothes. Fancy and Coming uh, all the way from um, Pantora. <gasps> Right. Uh, th- th- do you happen to know a name? No. Oh, because well, it's just that we've... We've, we've actually... just told a letter in when we see him. Yeah, I'm sure we've just done some travelling, you see, through Pantora once, and I just wondered if it was one of our friends. That would be a nice little serendipitous moment, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. If you're looking for a dog, yeah, it'd be weird if that kind of showed up, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would, it would indeed. Oh, well, um, and are they here today? Uh, not come through today, but it's still early, so they might Do they come give you a often. name? Have they ever given you a name? Well, they just... We know what they look like and we let them through. Okay. Mm. I, th- I think we should, um, well, anyway, for, for now, let's, uh, if it, can you point us in the direction of somewhere to, you know, get a little little drink? Yeah, um, there's the other way in over there. <laughs> <laughs> the other way in, oh, interesting. Yeah, is it, oh, yeah, so we've, um. Inspired. Uh, yeah, I think we should, what do, what do you think, gang? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah, I could, I could use a drink. Yes, and I'll just... Oh, and here he is now, little Rout. He comes <laughs> back running over. Oh, very good. Well, I think now we've got little Routy back, I think we should best uh, get a little drink and um, quench our thirst because we've, uh, we've been looking for him for hours. And uh, well, quite frankly, I need a pint. Cool, I should go back to my watch, to be honest. But, Lovely. Um, you, know, you get one day, I mean, you can stay for the night if you want. Um, and what, what was your name, dearie? Huh? Paul. Paul, thank you so much for your hospitality. Thanks. Oh, I'm well. <laughs> he kind of turns and walks off. Great. Right. Well, I think we need to go into this uh, this, this little pub. This this could be Carrickshaw. Yeah, hundred percent. It's him. it's him. That's fuck a leaf. Yeah. Ah. Now I do it. So I'm to have a quick look. If, is there any way up? If I can see any way of getting up to the top. There? Uh, make me a perception check through means of. Stairs and stuff, but also mm-hmm. um, climbing up there. There's an eight. Um, kind of looking, this stronghold is tall. Judging by the half giants that exist down in the kind of agricultural land that surrounds it, this. You heard him mention the four. Yeah. The size of this stronghold is built for full giants. And there is one entrance in, one entrance out, as far as you can see. Which means that it might be big enough that we can sneak in the shadows of it. Yeah. Because we were quite small in comparison. If we get, like, a big magnifying glass, we can make ourselves look really big. Or they could cook us like we're ants. How do you cook ants? Yeah, with the Okay, everybody inside. Yeah, let's <laughs> go. Push them into yeah. the bubble. We go into the bar. Keep that magnifying glass idea, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think maybe if we, um, if we can't perhaps sneak in, maybe we could, um, do the old, and Sarag just pulls out their little soapbox, and I, I, I've not been here, I, I, I don't know really if they'll be too keen on, on the order, but... Um, Distraction. It's an option, perhaps. Yeah. It's a good one. We should get drinks. <laughs> if we're in a bar, this is the most English campaign in the entire world. We literally just go from pub to pub. <laughs> yeah. It's a pub crawl. It's literally just... It's a fantasy pub crawl. Forget, forget <laughs> it. Don't do a dungeon crawl, <laughs> just do a pub <laughs> crawl. Yeah. Cool. We should get a drink. It's the only thing I know how to do as an English person. When you don't know what to do, you just go to the pub. Yeah. Yeah, great. great. <laughs> you head to the other way in? Yeah. yeah. We'll go inside, grab a, grab a table, all sit around the table. Yeah. Cool. Um, Can we have a look around? Are there any other, like, giant... Is it all giant? Sort of all food? giant kin. Great. Um, I think we should go with the box thing. Yes. This was a year ago that... This was a year ago? Yeah. So yeah, the the can, I, can we have this conversation without having to roll checks and stuff for people? Yeah, yeah I mean it, it's busy enough there. So what comes with being of giant blood also comes with like bigger um, kind of bodies, which make more resonant sounds. So it is slightly louder than any of you have kind of had before. So even We're your struggling. normal, yeah. yeah, even your normal voices are kind of like hushed tones. Yeah. So that was a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> How? I knew it was going. I saw Just give him fucking anything. <laughs> How long ago were we in Pantora? You're in Pantora, probably about four or five weeks ago. Okay. We found a book. 
we found a book once in Pantora that had stuff in it from Carrick Shaw. Was there any indication of in that book anything from like a year back? Make me a history check. Natural 20. Ooh, Not a year ago. Um, but you do, just before all this text vanished from this book, you remember just after the actual, you know, there was, uh, the text all vanished, but some was Im- almost embossed where it was actually written. The rest almost had some sort of magical property to it. Midway through in this diary, um, where quote-unquote Carrick Shaw started talking about his orders from a certain someone, it mentions travelling to find the circle. And this lines up probably about eight to ten months ago that he started doing this. I don't think... I don't know that Carrick Shaw had anything to do with what happened to your people. Yeah. But I think that it certainly benefited him and that they have something in there worth getting. Yeah. Or that they got help in doing it from either the Pointer's Breeze or Shaw. Yeah. They're in cahoots. They're in cahoots. They're cahooting. I think we wait until it gets a bit darker. What time are we? Oh, it's like, I mean, you've been traveling. Yeah, it's like two days. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, been, <laughs> it's been like 87 hours. So 87 like, hours of tour. Like we left at 4 a.m. Just so the wind, in. the temperature difference, and the, the fact that it's winter. Ah, ah, is it a time uh, change? A there. Time. Let's, Let's say 2 p.m. 2 p.m. My thoughts on this. Obviously, I know the layout of this place quite well. This is pretty much exactly the same as where it all went down. Was the stone stuff new? The stone stuff is new. The tree that he was talking about is called the Verdant Sentinel. That is the tree of my family, all of our kin. The reason why I have the reason why I have Oakfoot as my name is because I made it up there the fastest. It was like a rite of passage to climb this tree when you were younger to become a and warrior. And you were the quickest. I was the quickest. Well done. Thank you. That's tall. My idea is this. I think we wait until it gets a bit darker. We have a beer. I have a lime and soda. <laughs> we go outside. You can give your wonderful speech that you gave before, but we were all so enwrapped in, and we cause that as we, we use that as a distraction to try and bring people over. I can do some dancing lights if it you helps. You can do some dancing lights, Doit. Doit. Revriel, you could. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I've got spells, but I don't know if you want me to blow them on this. I would like to try and get up to that second level to okay. see what I can find. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you want me to come with you? What's your plus to stealth? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, plus uh, five. You've well, got plus traits as well, right? Yeah. And I have... Um... And you got the cloak. Or did the cloak do something? No. I got quiet toes. You got your boots. Sneaky I mean, sneakies. I have a spell that can make me go invisible for short amounts of time. <gasps> Very cool. Otherwise, uh, for only possible. for six seconds at a time. Very good. And Sarig is also here. Sarig. <laughs> Hi, well, Sarig. But we need the... Sarig on the ground for doing the. But are we just going to leave them outside? No. So now we don't need the distraction. Now, if we we're all okay, then we can <laughs> just. Oh, I thought up. Doit was giving you my sneaky feet. <gasps> Would you? I. I sure. I just had to lie about my family dying. I finally get these boots. (laughs) Give me those boots. (laughs) He's never been in this town before in his life. (laughs) Um, In that case, we don't need the distraction, but would you want to come? Do you want to come with us? We won't hurt anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, If, if, yes, that's (laughs) fine. If if you don't need uh, a distraction, then yeah, sure. That, yeah, I can, yes. Hmm. I put my hand out to her and I say, part of the team. Part of the ship. Part of the crew. Part of the ship. Part of the crew. Part of the family. Oh. Part of the beans. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and they shake I hands. I spit in my hand and I shake her hand. Oh my god. <laughs> we can disinfect it afterwards. Thank you. That's right. doity. It's just holds it's the hands dripping away. dripping with straw. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were putting your hand up. No. <laughs> uh, so are we all two team? Is that our plan? Sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. Are we all sneaky sneakies? 
<laughs> Keep your voice down. <laughs> but now, are we all sneaking in? <laughs> but now, if you, if Dwight's giving you his boots, how sneaky are you without your boots? Oh, Dwight's not. Dwight's loud. <laughs> we just, so maybe we just experienced Dwight being loud. Because well, we can both cast Pass Without Trace. Yeah. So that's fine. Will that cover us all? I mean, I think one of us. One will of us will all cover us all. Oh, great. Well, we're we're fine d- then. It depends on how the DM rules it. If it's the thirty feet of when you cast it, or thirty feet of staying with. <laughs> This Same is the thing. Within. If we are, if we're, if we're passing without trace, when I when I did my um, investigation before, was there a way to just simply walk up there, or is that going to be drama? The, if if so the only to... way to walk in is past a guarded door. Which oh, but it's um, cre- it's like very hapdash stonework. It's almost like mold stone has been used and uh, just boulders have been t- put on top, so it is scalable. Great. I think that's the plan. Pass out trace and we try and sneak in. Yeah, I think we. I, I think. Do you want to come with me on a little like look see and see how many people are in that guard tower? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go look at just to scout out where we're going. Great. Because we've got time to kill. We could always take a nap. I couldn't just do like a four hour nap. <laughs> you've had enough naps. <laughs> 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 Just use and abuse that new yeah, power you have. Yeah. So now he's got a howl now. Heading a scout out. Yeah, just yeah. a quick scout. Yeah, amazing. You two, Rev and Alwyn, as you kind of exit the other way in. Is it just those two heading? Whilst good. the others kind of hold the fort. Uh, I'll stick about. Yeah, Deut Deut stays. Cool. Yeah, I'll stay with these. We'll be quick. You two kind of head out and. There's a bit of a hubbub, not so much a hubbub, I guess. It, it's kind of routine, but you head out and you move up the main street past where these houses are. They kind of get fewer and fewer. There's almost like just an area of nothing before you reach this new stronghold. And you see there are two guards positioned either side of this main gate. And as you look along the battlements, there are patrolling probably about three other... All of these are Goliaths. All male Goliaths, kind of almost like gingerbread men cut from the same uh, kind of. <laughs> they're all like holding the hands too. Like the big Shrek. Be good. Yeah. <laughs> Not the gumdrop buttons. Um, <laughs> any opportunities? <laughs> Mungo, that's what he's called. Mungo. 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 Um, Get out of my swamp, guys. <laughs> <laughs> good. That's Pretty what it blankets. sounds like. <laughs> Fix it onto blankets. Fix it blankets. <laughs> uh, yeah, you kind of just, you see these guards patrolling. So there's two there's two guards on one either side, side of the door. One on the side of the door. Three up on the wall. Three, three up, up on the wall. Five. Doing little movements. Do you want to wait long enough to see if there's like a changing of the guard or something, or do you? Yeah, I mean, we can hang out for a little bit and just look like make it look like we're looking around. Yeah, I yeah. think we don't want to hang around too long so that we we lose the night. Right, cool. But um, yeah, it's kind of put. You guys have been just it's kind of pushing four or five right now. And it's you know, it's not it midsummer. Time? It's kind of oh, autumn. Oh, okay. Sun's kind of dropping a little bit. It's cold. As, it's you, chilly. as it kind of gets closer to five, and you guys are looking, and these guards aren't changing. It's almost like they're positioned here quite a lot. Um, you. As you're walking back towards the tavern, you're used to seeing very high heads of people. And you see three well-dressed Goliaths, just almost in an arrow point, walking towards you, straight with great purpose, striding up the pathway towards the stronghold. And with your passive perception, Reveal, in the middle of them, you see a very (laughs) fair-skinned elven figure. Uh, with kind of slicked back hair, very beautifully ornate clothes, purple rimmed, gold chained, kind of like one pocket watch in the breast pocket. Slowly walking up. In the tavern, as you three are drinking, Doit, you feel a hand on your shoulder. This hand spins you round, <clears throat> grabs your face, <clears throat> and just goes, El <laughs> Rayo. And we'll leave it there. What? What does that mean? So, thank you guys for listening to that episode. Um, We will debrief. Touching my boobs. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't even realize. The roller coaster that that was in our behind the board. If you want to listen to that, head across to our Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash merely players. Or if you want to see Austin getting 
the reddest in the face I've ever seen. <laughs> that was, was the, the best thing, thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Head across to our Instagram, which is at Merely Players TTRPG. Messing around. <laughs> and we've also got a TikTok as well, which is Merely Players TTRPG as well. And we really like making this, and your support goes a long way Huge. just by listening. But our lovely Patreon subscribers, who are Jacob Cote, Patrick Khan, Jerry Lopez, Amir Shah, and Teresa Dolan. Help it go even further. And they help so feed me, because i got a rumbly tummy, which you got a rumbly tumbly. We really appreciate your support, guys, and we will see what happens next week Ooh. when all is revealed. Potentially, our last one before Christmas. Oh my oh my God. God. Oh, see you later, folks. Love you lots. Bye. Bye. Bye.